are calling this work Grow Our Own. You heard it today. One in six kids in Southwest Minnesota lives in poverty. These kids sit in our classrooms, they will come to work in our businesses, and they will need to fill the many roles that keep our communities strong and vibrant. Too many kids in our region aren't getting the best possible start to life. We can and must do something to change that. The time is now. Good morning. It's December 15th on a Thursday. As you can see, it's 5.02 a.m. And I just got done getting ready. I'm going to go open up shop and then I've got to drive about an hour, 40 minutes, 50 minutes, close to about two hours to Marshall, Minnesota for this Grow Your Own Summit. It's uh, not sure what it's all about. I got invited to it, so. So the summit starts at 9 or 9 a.m. but um, they said get there early because it's like 550 people almost at the summit. Alright, so we are here quarter to 8 a.m. and the event starts at 9 so and people are starting to pull in. So I'm gonna get out and head over there. You said you have a media pass? Yeah, yep. I was supposed to get a media okay. pass too or something. Um, this is Shantzi Vonda. Hi. Hi. And he doesn't I'm have Megan. a... I work for... Yep, no, I, I know. Okay, okay. great. Right. Um, I'm Megan. I work with Karen. Um, okay. Hey Greg. Yeah, John. How are you? Yeah. Good to see you. Good to see you too. Hey. Uh, sitting here waiting and we've got about a what, half hour. Yeah. Be accurate in saying that we never envisioned that we could have nearly 600 people together for this cause, for, uh, for this uh, important, important summit. So this just reminds us of all the wonderful people in Southwest Minnesota who are working together in very important ways for the right reasons. Very happy to have you. Yes, thank you. Many of you are here today because you were recruited by one of the volunteer outreach committee members. This group represents communities from throughout our region, from many different walks of life, we thank them for their early efforts and look forward to continue work together. Throughout the day, you're going to hear a lot of numbers and big ideas, thoughts that will concern you and examples that will inspire you. As I listen, I'll be thinking about my grandkids and their friends and classmates. Who will you be thinking about? Southwest Mission Foundation believes all South Minnesota kids are our kids and our region's 
economy and future depends on their success. But the most important things in life don't actually come easy. So Bob does okay, but he doesn't win any World Series titles. Now Sam, the small guy on the right, he's fed up. He's been staring at a wall for a game or two or a season or two, and he concludes that baseball stinks. He doesn't want it, and it doesn't want him. So he turns his back on his love for the game, and he wins no pennies. It's a big loss for baseball. Now, what about the kid in the middle? Theo. We'll call this kid Theo. Well, specifically, we'll call him Theo, not my son Theo Walker, but Theo Epstein, a name you might know. So Theo Epstein, the kid in the middle, became the general manager of the Boston Red Sox and built a team that broke the curse of the Bambino after 86 years. He then took the same job with the Chicago Cubs and broke the curse of the Billy Goat after 108 years. The guy is a genius, he's a surefire Hall of Famer. But remember our opening premise. All three of these guys were potential baseball geniuses. So it took the Red Sox 86 years to break the curse. It took the Cubs 108 years to break the curse. But what if there had been three times as many Theos out there? Three times the brain power devoted to making the game great. If you imagine this little thought experiment, it suggests that the Red Sox drought might only have lasted 29 years. They might have won the World Series in 1947 and again in 1976. And generations of New Englanders would have been less crabby and less haunted by the knowledge that, to quote the Red Sox great Pedro Martinez, the Yankees were their daddy. Everything would have been different. Now think about the Cubs. Three times more Theos, maybe they win it in 1944 and 1980, as well as 2016. I'm just doing the math and having a little bit of fun with it, but you see the point. The punchline is actually that equity changes everything. Equity is the superior strategy for developing executive talent in baseball, and it's the superior model for economic growth in Southwest Minnesota and around the state and the nation. What advantage? Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. You too. Do you have a safe drive? Hey, how are you? Uh -huh. Nice to see you. Good to see you. Um, I'm so glad you're here. So, we're here to celebrate the launch of the Emerging Leaders Cabinet. It is a group of diverse uh, young leaders in Southwest Minnesota, and um, we'll be uh, doing and our first retreat in February, but we're here, um, but there will be leaders from all over Southwest Minnesota, between 10 and 15 people um, of diverse backgrounds, social, economic, um, across the region, um, and hoping to make a great impact, not only on their own leadership, but also in the region. That's Liz, right? Liz Cheney. Liz? Sarah. Sarah. Rhonda Addison. Rhonda. So. All right, let's head out. Go see Greg. <laughs> Hello. <laughs> oh, Greg. <laughs> yeah, <thank you. laughs> Wonderful. That was good. Good, good. Good speakers. Good. All right, you take care. Right. We'll see ya. The guy I was talking to was Greg, and he's the one that helped us um, make everything go for the wishy washy laundromat five, six years ago. Great guy. Works for the Southwest, Southwest Initiative Foundation. Met a lot of great people. It's a great experience. Now time to head back home. Just got back from the summit and it is snowing here in Jackson. And we're, we'll be going out tonight um, to do some snow removal. Um, probably around 2 in the morning again. So trying to get everybody all lined up. Didn't realize that it was supposed to snow this much. So we're going out. Alright, we are going to hook up the plow on the truck here, on my truck, so...
right, we got it. Now, I'm gonna go home and get some rest. And then we'll be out. It's uh, 